Questions remain this weekend about Elon Musk's proposed takeover of Twitter. The world's wealthiest man made his $44 billion offer six weeks ago. But the deal has hit some snags, including threats by Musk to back out. It's all since speculation on the future of the social media platform. Reporter John Blackstone takes us through it. Elon Musk's complicated relationship with Twitter and with fake Twitter accounts stretches back at least 12 years. In 2010, with others on Twitter claiming to be him, at Elon Musk made what was apparently his first entry on the site, saying, please ignore prior tweets, as that was someone pretending to be me. In the years since, Musk has amassed some 90 million followers on Twitter. Only Barack Obama and a handful of superstars in music and one in soccer have more. But no one else in that Twitter elite is capable of shaking up the stock market the way Musk can. I would characterize this behavior as, as um, being very uncontrolled. Attorney Anne-Marie Murphy is part of a team of attorneys who have filed a civil lawsuit accusing Musk of market manipulation at the expense of Twitter shareholders. I think it's it's just absolutely offensive. I think he referred to himself possibly as a toddler once. I mean, it feels like a young child run amok beyond caring about their personal billions and maybe not, I don't know, if they, you know, caring or realizing the impacts on everyday Americans. Since early May, Musk has made a chart of Twitter's share price look like a recording of earthquake aftershocks. The first of those shocks hit the market on April 4th with Twitter rising more than 28% after Musk revealed he'd acquired 9% of the company's stock. The price rose further on April 25th when Musk agreed to buy Twitter for $44 billion. There was an announcement that, the, um, that Mr. Musk was going to purchase Twitter and shareholders were to be paid $54.20 a share. Um, the market responded positively to that, that news. But on May 13th, Twitter shares plunged 25 percent after Musk tweeted the deal is temporarily on hold. The price dropped further on May 17th with another Musk tweet. The deal cannot move forward, he said, until the company proves only 5 percent of Twitter users are fake. His mood seems to change from day to day on Twitter. And those changing tweets can attract the attention of financial regulators, says Mark Fagel, now retired from the Securities and Exchange Commission. And I think what the SEC is struggling with is they're really limited to bringing cases where there is fraud, where you are making a demonstrably false statement that's material, meaning it's important to investors. If you have a tweet, you know, a few hundred letters, uh, it talking about your whim that moment. I like Twitter, maybe I'm less excited about buying Twitter. Is that false? That's hard. The SEC is investigating whether Musk failed to disclose within 10 days as required that he owned more than 5% of Twitter. And the SEC has gone after Musk previously for one of his tweets. In August 2018, he posted this, am considering taking Tesla private at 420, funding secured. An SEC investigation alleged that the tweet lacked an adequate basis, in fact. What did it cost him? Well, he ended up settling shortly thereafter, so he paid $20 million as a penalty. Now that the world has so many billionaires, does the SEC have enough punishment available when Elon Musk can be fined $20 million? That's not very much for the world's richest man, is it? It's a real frustration. Penalties that the SEC can assess are fixed by law. And when they're dealing with individuals or companies, Wall Street players, with billions or trillions of dollars at their disposal, the current penalties are not going to deter somebody. Over the years, Musk has tweeted about Twitter many times. In 2017, he said simply, I love Twitter. A few months later, he warned his followers, don't take my tweet too seriously. For one thing, it's called a tweet. But those suing Musk are taking his tweets about Twitter very seriously. I think the hope would be that um, Mr. Musk completes the transaction on the terms that he agreed to. Neither Twitter nor attorneys for Elon Musk responded to our request for comment. If Musk fails to buy Twitter, he could be forced to pay a billion dollar breakup fee. But that would still leave him a $200 billion fortune. And of course, he would still be able to tweet. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.